Hey everybody, it is Scott here from GearRules.com. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm back again with a quick product review of one of my favorite keychain items right now, the Magnet by Keybar. Not only does it make life super convenient by being able to take some keys on and off super easily, but you don't have to worry about losing your keys because this bad boy is nice and strong. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. If you have any comments or questions during it, Feel free to post them down below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. This is Magnet by the company Keybar. Um, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner here, this is the aluminum version of this keychain accessory. They do have a couple other different versions out there. Um, this is the aluminum version, as you can see in the picture above, and it is made in the United States of America, so pretty awesome. And I'll be sure to post a link down below on where you can find it on Amazon. They run for about $10 to $12, so um, be sure to check that out. So we're going to talk about what you get when you purchase the magnet, and then we will talk about the things that I like and don't like after owning it for about six months. So first, what are you gonna be getting when you buy it? You're just going to be getting the two smaller key rings here, as well as the nuts with these extrusions for the key rings and the magnets obviously inside the nuts. So pretty simple, pretty easy. These really make great gifts if you're looking to buy a gift for your family member or a significant other. It's, um, it's an awesome gift to give and it's not super expensive. So let's go ahead and talk about what I like about the product and then we'll talk about some of the things that I'm not a fan of. So first thing is it obviously, in my opinion, looks really cool. If you're just looking at someone's keys, you see this thing is just like, it's not normal and it's kind of got a manly feel to it. So big fan of the way that it looks. The second one is obviously convenience. Me, I have an older car. So when the car's running and I need to go run back inside, I can quickly just release this and then when I'm done, I can snap it back. Or if I'm going out on a run or something and only want to take my important keys, I can go ahead and do that. Um, as you can probably tell from this video, it is a very powerful magnet. Um, so I really like that I don't have to worry about losing the product. Um, I do have... I've had experience with something like this where I have had my house keys on one of these and it's like cramped in my pocket and then I lose my house key. I've actually had that happen. I haven't had any issues with this one. I've only noticed it come apart one time when, actually probably a couple times when I have my keys tight in my jean pockets and I just pull from this ring here and I'm trying to yank them all and it takes quite a bit of force, um, but obviously I didn't lose the keys there. So I really like how strong it is. And um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna have a problem. One thing I was gonna do for you guys is, is if you take the keys by one side, you can literally spin them around and they're gonna stay on. So really not a huge concern. Um, definitely ease my concerns once I started doing stuff like that to it. So there are um, two dislikes that I have. Um, the main one is they're kind of two in one. So sometimes when I undo it, uh, the magnet will get stuck on this side. So then, as you can see, it's not really easy to um, basically get them connected again. Um, so I don't like how um, it gets, you know, you would expect it to get stuck on other keys, which is fine, but I think they need to make this ring smaller so it doesn't get stuck within there. So uh, my other complaint was that it is hard to basically open up this smaller ring as you would expect. Um, so if they, you know, made this ring size bigger um, or a lot smaller and then just expect people to use other rings, 
um, that would be the way to go. It's just a slight inconvenience, um, but all in all, I definitely think they're worth it. So I hope you liked kind of what I had to say. And if you guys uh, want to see more content like this, please subscribe and like and comment below if you have any questions. Um, I hope you guys all have a good one and uh, take care until next time.